Hello everyone, it's Kylie Batucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with you. Welcome! It's been a week already. <laughs> I've, I am in shock. <laughs> Where are the weeks going? Seriously. So nice to see you here. All I can see is Bruno at the moment, so hopefully we're in the right... Oh no, we've got some more people jumping in. Yay! Patty's here. Hi, Patty. Hello. How are you today? Mandy Moo's here. <laughs> so good to see you all. Uh, we've had a very busy week here in the Batucci household, as always. There's always lots of fun, lots of things going on. New plants. Um, what else have we been doing? Bruno, Bruno's been... Um, having a bit of fun with some new toys, printing cups and <laughs> doing all sorts of fun things. So that's very really exciting. Hi, Carrie. Hey, Vicky. Mary. Ah, oh, Susan. Hi, Susan. It's lovely to see you all here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> so I... Um, wanted to give you a bit of an update that the card that we made together last YouTube last live oh my goodness it's been so popular like crazy popular oh yes that's right Bruno did my hair I was trying to think about hmm what else has happened this week Bruno did my hair for me thanks Bruno he dyed them yesterday even did all the separating and everything he's so good ah oh, randomly cut myself last night on the tall boy I haven't cut myself in a very long time so that was a bit random I was like I feel like there's something wet here <laughs> that was a bit strange <laughs> hello Barbara hello it's actually a bit of a cool day in Melbourne today we had a beautiful day yesterday in fact it was such a gorgeous day here in Melbourne that I did a big cook up on our Weber, Weber barbecue and made a big Greek feast. I made lamb and thighs, yummy garlic thighs and what else did I make? Zucchini, roasted capsicum, lemon potatoes. <laughs> oh my goodness, it was such a feast. With of course some tzatziki. <laughs> Could I have the dip too? Oh my goodness, it was so delicious. Yes. Um, and I think that was probably the main things that happened this week. Yes. Caught up with some friends on Zoom. Did a gnocchi class with a friend in Bali who's actually from Switzerland but is also Italian. That was a fun gnocchi class. We had, we had a... Um, Turkish dinner on Zoom with Jessie on Saturday night with her and her parents, our assistant Jessie. That was lots of fun. We did, um, there's like these um, restaurants, fine dining restaurants that deliver food for you. So we did that. It was Provador. It was very fancy. And we had the Maha banquet feast. Huh, was it a banquet or what? It was amazing. So yes, we had a great time with Jessie and her mum and dad. And yeah, we had a really lovely time. So we've actually had a very busy week. <laughs> Zoom out slightly. I, I don't know what's going on with my camera today, but yes, it's a bit strange today. Not sure what's going on. I fixed it all last night, but I think it's as zoomed out as it can go because otherwise... It looks very weird so I'm not sure I fixed it last night thinking oh yeah I've got it all set up but watch this if I go too far out oh it's a bit better yeah we'll go there that's as far as I can go that's it that actually is a lot better thank you thank you for suggesting that one that's good I was like I wanted my top in display and my new earrings too Wee. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you, everyone. Just got to go for a run after all this food now. 
I wondered why there weren't people jumping on. Because I set up all of my streams before... Um, hang on, let me change it here. should be able to change it. Because I set up all my YouTube lives before our daylight savings, they've all gone haywire and they've jumped to an hour later. So I was actually looking at this wondering why there wasn't as many people watching. So thank you for that, Serene. No, who was it that said, can't see comments? Oh, it was Naomi. Thank you, Naomi. I've fixed that and I'll have to, oh, it says you can't update. So what, what if I do it for <laughs> 10.30? It's going to be a bit weird until 10.30. I don't know if I can even change it. We'll see. We shall soon find out. holding my breath. I don't think I could do it while I'm live, which is a bit frustrating. But anyway, hopefully everyone finds me. Hopefully it says notified. Oh, it's not updating. Sorry, everyone. Yeah. So Kathy said, what is that class? It was just a class on Zoom with friends, which was a lot of fun. We had such a great time. The gnocchi class. Yeah. Ryan, what's that? <laughs> I've actually got a I've actually got a bike in my exercise in the garage, which I'm looking forward to using a bit more. I used it last week, but I've got to do it a bit more, I think. So now I understand why there were so little people waiting in the waiting room. It's because of these scheduling. So I'll have to make sure that all of my other ones are all set up properly. Which you know what? I'm just gonna do it right now. Because <laughs> if I don't, I'm going to forget. <laughs> now, big thank you to all those who purchased tutorial bundles or the card templates or all sorts of other things that we have happening. We really appreciate it. We had a busy week. Um, different customers have purchase from the clearance rack which has been awesome we ran out of paper from the clearance rack which is sad but you've just got to get in quick you really do so I don't think there was any other updates that I had for you so it looks like yeah I can't change it sorry everyone hopefully you can see them Naomi hopefully if you log in you might be able to see them all so have you all got your beverageino have you got your beverageino there we're going to do some crafting together. Oh, good. It was working for me, Bruno, but I just thought it was not working on Naomi's end. And yours said 11 a.m. too, Susan. Whoopsie. I fixed all the others now. So, let us see. Good day. It works fine. Yeah. Um, if you do, if anyone can't see you. Maybe just refresh. Yeah, Kirsty said that. She goes, if you go out of the video and click back, you should be able to see it now. Good. Thanks, girls. <gasps> Kirsty, are we catching up for your craft class on Sunday? I can't wait. We have to talk later. Make sure you message me because I don't know if I sent you the Zoom link. So um, Kirsty is a lovely customer of, of ours and she invited, I think it was at six friends to craft with you do a little kit class together. She's like, oh, I'll probably get about six people. Do you think you'd be able to do a class? Sure, let's do a class together. How many did you end up with, Kirsty? I think she ended up with 14 people. <laughs> so then, um, yeah, I've invited a few more people along. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to, it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> and it's with the um, 17. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> so we're doing the expressions in colour um, kit. So I've sent the kit. A few more people have purchased. So that's really exciting. I can't wait for that class. <laughs> and yes, Yvonne, espresso. <laughs> espresso coffee, not espresso. I love edumacating because <laughs> I'm really good at, e at England. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yes, we really do need to talk. 
So I'm a bit excited about our technique today. Are you ready to see today's class? <gasps> today's little session together. So hopefully you're crafting along. Maybe you're doing some love it, chop it. I don't know. What are you up to? What are you doing? But this is my card today. Da, 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 da. But we're going to do a different color. We're going to use... Because I'm just, I'm addicted to gorgeous leaves. I'm going to do it, I'm going to try it with um, the autumn colours. So we'll do, rather than the smoky slate base, yeah, we're going to do something different. Welcome, Rebecca. I'm so glad you're here. Nice, Susan, nice. It's nice, it's different, it's unusual. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't get out of bed, just stay there. <laughs> Just stay in bed. So let me flippy flip flip for you. But I have to move some of these cords out of the way because they're a bit ugly. I'm like, how do I move these out of the way? This one here in particular, the charging cord. I come in here this morning, I thought I was perfectly set up. And then I look at my phone that's looking downwards and it says, low battery. What? What do you mean low battery? I don't think so. You don't get to be low battery so let's see here oh <gasps> maybe oh no that won't work anyway i'll see what what battery it's at i think we should be okay for a bit because it charged yeah it should be okay don't you love it jump it so here we go poppy that over there and I've got my Stamparatus. We're going to be using the Stamparatus today. I'm just clearing away my mess so that it looks like I'm really tidy. When in actual fact, there's chaos everywhere. Chaos reigns in this household. <laughs> well, with me anyway, not with Bruno. <laughs> so, looking good. Here it is here. So we're going to do a little bit of um, sponging. And a bit of layering, which is going to be fun. We're going to do, use two different types of embossing. So if you haven't done the like clear emboss or white emboss, we're going to do two different types of embossing today, which is very exciting. The only thing I did get a new embossing, um, a new Versa mark, and I noticed it's actually quite a lot darker than I expected it to be. So I'm going to use my old one today because for this technique, I really need it to be clear or less ink. So that was an interesting observation. I haven't had that happen before. So let's bring in our little grid paper. And what you're going to do, if you want your sizing for this, for those of you that have my card templates, it's our super simple sizing. I might even change it up a little bit because I've got a smaller, of course I'm going to change it up. You know, I've, I'm all organized, but of course I want to change the size. But this one here are these sizings. So Gorgeous Grape, Poppy Parade and Melon Mambo. That's the, the three sizes and that's the only three cuts you need for those three. But I'm thinking I might create more of a border because I'm going to use... I'm using this sentiment here. If you're wondering what this sentiment is, let me bring it in for you. You'll be shocked with me, everyone. Prepare for your mind to be blown. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's our stamp set. Thinking thanks and peace. But there's something here that I want you to see. I'm, I hope you don't freak out. You might freak out. I think you will. Because I think I may have taken Love It, Chop It a little bit too far. <laughs> but I really wanted this ending thanks without the little bit of harvest grass. <laughs> so I've gone and chopped my stamp set. Now the reason why I'm not scared about chopping my stamp set is in the olden days with Stampin' Up, we had to chop all of our stamps. None of them were pre-cut like this. We had to come in and cut it ourselves. Can you believe it? And that wasn't that long ago we had to do that. Chop our own stamp sets. 
So yeah, I chopped him because I really want to just use the sending thanks. And even if you wanted to, you could even chop it again and do chop him at the thanks. Yeah. Oh, yay, Donna. Donna got the gorgeous leaves bundle. <laughs> I'm very excited. Yay. <laughs> it looks like my screen's in black and white. <laughs> hey, Patricia, good to see you. And Judy's here. Yes, it's very elegant, but it's, it's going to be interesting to see what it looks like in all of the earthy colours, isn't it? I'm really excited. I should even try a bit of Cajun Craze. <gasps> Bring in some more colour. Because I was going to do soft suede and early espresso. You know me. Constantly changing it. And there's the gorgeous leaves that you must have in your collection. Because it is just beautiful. And it's so, so handy. After today, you're going to just fall in love with it even more. For those of you that weren't here for my craft class last week, I'll just grab some Cajun craze. And there's my card from last week, in case you missed that one. Um, yeah, I think I will try some Cajun craze. That's going to look hot. And what was the other thing that I wanted to get for you? What was my other show and tell? I think that was it. Yeah. I do want to get some embellishments a bit later. That was one thing I was meant to grab last night. So let's do some, let's do some stamping everyone. Oh, that's right. I was going to chop. I'm going to make this smaller. So instead of Mel and Mambo and Poppy Parade, because this is going to be our sentiment. So we can actually come in a little bit smaller. I think I'll do... What have we got here? Floaty Flamingo. What's another one here? Oh, there's Mango Melody too. So I could do... Although those two layers are a bit close. What about those two? Yeah, I think I'm going to do those two. <gasps> yeah, just like not a lot further in, but enough to just change it up a bit. What's another one here? That's a bit too small. Daffodil? What does daffodil look like? Ooh. Mm, I don't want to go too small because we want the, leave, the leaves to be showing. So I think we'll go for that. I'll try this one. But in this one I did Poppy Parade and Melon. But now I'm going a bit smaller. So let's chop that up, get your sizing. Once you've got your layout with the card templates. Welcome. Oh, Catherine. That was a good by chance find. <laughs> Love it. Welcome. So good to see you. So get your little templates. If you don't have our card templates, we have a tutorial that you can purchase and we haven't done an update in a while but you get all the updates as well if we do decide because I think we're doing really good have any of you found that you need another layer I've actually found that these layers are helping me a lot so I've already done them the size that I wanted which was the poppy parade and then the melon member but I'm going to go smaller so I'll make this one, instead of um, Poppy Parade, I'm going to make this one the Melon Mambo size. So chop that down. Choppy chop. And then I'm going to make the Sahara Sand. <gasps> what even is this colour? I was like, I'm going to use Sahara Sand. I don't think I've even used this for like... I can't remember the last time I used Sahara Sand. So, I thought he needs a little bit of inking. Good. And then the card base, oh, that looks great. And then the card base I'm going to do in early espresso. So you should always um, 
make sure that with your cardstock you're chopping it in half. If you're not chopping your particular cardstock in your size in half, then you're chopping it wrong. Oh, it's a bit too close, is it? It is a bit close, actually. <laughs> this is what this is what you get when Kylie's organised. Oh no, <laughs> I have to I have to lift it up if I if I change too much zoom. <laughs> this was me at one o'clock last night going, I'm so organised. <laughs> Look how organised I am. <laughs> Yeah, oh good Kathy. Kathy said that she's got enough layers. That's brilliant. Now I want to get just enough in. Anyway, it's just for the chopping. You'll be fine after that. You, you don't need to see anything anyway, <laughs> as long as you can see the templates. <laughs> okay, I think that's a bit better though. Yeah, okay, let me show you that. I think it's it's a little bit further out. There we go. So if you're not chopping your cardstock in half, then definitely do that, okay? You want to make sure it's the right size for your country because every country has different card, card sizes. The US and Canada, one size, rest of the world, another. So even when people say, I'll oh, just convert it, no, you can't do a conversion. It's not about conversion. It's about having a completely different sized card. Completely different. You cannot even compare the pair. So that's how we're going to go. <gasps> that's going to be hot. Okay, let's get stamping. So I think the first one will do the darker colour. Oh, I changed it up. That's right. I'm going to do, yes, I'm going to do those two. Let's have a looky here. Oh, let's start with early espresso. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I think I might actually do, no, sorry, changed my mind. It's my prerogative. I'm going to do the little splatters in the early espresso. But I'm going to do this beautiful big leaf. It reminds me of a maple leaf, this one. I'm going to do that in the Cajun craze. So let's bring that over there. Does it need a bit of inky? Oh, no, that looks good. So I'm just going to... I might just do a little bit of um, embossing buddy because we are going to emboss on here. So I'll just do it to begin with. Now with this technique, it's just really important that you're aware where your fingers are going because you can very easily get ink everywhere. This is one of those ones where you can get quite inky. So you can see here, this is the sentiment that I'm looking at using, thinking of you. So you can see you've got quite a good amount of space that you want to leave spare, but we're going to stamp around the edges. Now with this one, be careful not to rock, just stamp down. Oh yeah. I'm going to do five. Good. Then we're going to come in with our clear. Clear. So I'm going to use, which one should I use for the clear? I think if I use this leaf here, which could actually double as a feather. And yes, it is Sahara sand that we're using here. Sahara sand. So I'm just going to take this off because we're going to use this as our little embossing tray. I love my mini grid paper, P.S. Mini grid paper is the bomb. So I've got clear here. Good. And we don't want to mix up the two. We don't want to mix up clear and... Now, it's not too stressful if you get the... Um, 
the clear powder moving where it shouldn't because it's clear so you, it doesn't really matter but the white one we're going to do another embossing buddy zhuzh because we don't really I mean this is the type of card that's not too stressful if you end up with a little bit of white powder where it shouldn't go okay so we've stamped that then we're going to do you can't really see that but you will once I put the powder on who here hasn't tried embossing heat embossing who's a bit afraid of heat embossing don't be afraid to tell me you're afraid So I really don't want it to cover these leaves but as I said it doesn't matter if it does because it's going to put this beautiful shine on there <laughs> so probably it's an, a good idea to actually do the embossing buddy in between each layer when you do your powder don't do what I did <laughs> <laughs> use your embossing buddy in between <laughs> I mean it's no stress it really isn't but I do like the effect of them being separate and not having embossing on there okay so that looks good but yeah if you're scared of embossing let us know because it is one of those things that you can get a bit scared of but it's so much fun and it's not that scary at all I'll show, you, I'll show you, Kathy, the difference between Australian cards. I call Australia cards tall and skinny. And the American Canadian cards are short and wide. <laughs> They're short and wide in comparison to ours. <laughs> oh, good, Kathy. Oh, Charlotte, I've never done heat embossing. I don't have a good place to plug in a heat tool. Oh yeah, that can usually prevent it. Our neighbour, she would use her toaster. And I don't recommend using a toaster because at 2am in the morning, her toaster went on fire because her project fell in her toaster. <laughs> so yes, a heat tool is much better than a toaster. <laughs> Yeah, it's really, I think people get into, I got intimidated by it. And then, then once I got used to it, I'm like, what was I actually scared about? I don't know which step scared me. I think maybe because there was so many steps. But it's just, you know, get your glue, stamp, get your powder, put your powder on and then it sticks and then you've got to heat it. So it's really just those three steps that you've got to do. And then all your excess, you just tip it in. I think once you have your process... And you know what steps you're taking there is nothing to fear it's nothing to be afraid of yeah but I, I do remember it being something scary so this is taking shape already isn't it gorgeous oh <gasps> so pretty so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some color <laughs> i'm going to bring in some soft suede here and we're going to use a brand new brush. Oh, look at this gorgeousness. Who's got the brushes? Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with these brushes. Like so in love with them. I said to myself at the beginning, I only need five. I now have a tray of 15, I think. I'm like collecting them. So this is the bit where you've got to start watching your where your hand goes. Because it's very easy to get some ink on there. It's okay if you're staying around the edge, but just watching this middle section here. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I've splotched it. Isn't that beautiful already, that colour? <gasps> Gorgeousness. And it's just a little bit of 
sponging and you can we're going to layer a little bit more on but it's just to get a little bit of color around those clear embossed leaves and then just come in with your tissue just a dry tissue and just wipe the clear emboss sections because the ink does sit on that clear emboss so you just want to remove that so you don't end up with ink everywhere oh looking pretty good so far I'm impressed so there we go layer two third layer yep best brushes I really want a sandbox that we get the smaller ones have you seen the smaller ones I really want the smaller ones they are so cute and I'd collect all of them 40 no 50 colors I need Jesse Scott's in the house good morning hi Jesse can we all send lots of love to Jesse I'm sorry to mention this Jesse because I know you'll cry but we have to give you lots of love and we can't see you so just have a cry but Jesse's pet, pet rabbit died this week little basil we're sending you lots of love mm -mm -mm -mm. hugs I I sent the best possible thing that you could have when you lose a pet dumplings that's how that's how we fix everything in the Batucci household food <laughs> food fixes everything <laughs> but yes please send jesse loves Wah, i miss basil already i never got to meet him i'm so sad <sighs> it's very sad so big hugs jessa love you lots Wah, i know it's so sad <sighs> so i'll distract you with my crafting jesse Hello, Bruno Batucci. I think the down facing. Oh, everything's turned went. off. <laughs> I got I got caught up saying to Jesse, so sad. Thank you, Bruno. You're the bestest around. I started I started pushing things I shouldn't have pushed. Oh, Jesse. See, I, I had a moment of silence for Basil. <laughs> well, not silence, but a moment of darkness for Basil. Oh, yes. Yeah, big hugs, Jesse. We love our fur babies. Jasper's been sick for a little while, and I said to Jesse, Oh my goodness, I couldn't imagine something happening to our fur babies. Welcome back. Yes. Isn't that gorgeous? And then our last layer is going to be this one here, and we're going to do it in Whisper White. So let's do this. This first mark. We've got our Whisper White. Oh, yes, it's basic white, even though this is white. Yes. I, I cannot get Whisper White out of my little noggin. It's been 12 years. <laughs> you appreciate the moment darkness for Basil. I knew you would. <laughs> moment of silence, no silence. It's not possible for Kylie. <laughs> what silence? <laughs> Bruno could only dream of it. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do embossing in between the powder. We'll do this side. There you go. Half of it, half of it's been done. The the little buddy. <laughs> and one over here. Good, 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 good. So you can't see that yet, but you will in a moment. So we'll lift this up. I don't actually know where are oh, you there, 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 yes. Just tip it on the whole card. Ooh. So really interesting. This is this is a actually I did it just to show you a test. <laughs> 
So one part I missed with the embossing buddy and the other part I didn't. Well, we need one on this side. I want a little bit here too. But you can see here, it just picked up on the dots on the, um, where we did the early espresso. Whereas this side where we did the embossing buddy, there's no remnants. So this is what the buddy does. We actually, Stampin' Up! don't have the um, embossing buddy, which is very sad. Um, but we ended up getting a demonstrator to sew them. So we have them in our little Shopify store, um, which you can check out. I'll pop a little thing up here. Uh, what's my, oh yeah, I know what it is. I've got a quick key for it. KBS. There we go. So yeah, you can go over there and just put in, I think we call it embossing pillow or something like that. So if you live in Australia, I don't think we do it overseas, sadly. But I'm sure there's someone overseas that is making embossing pillows. Because you can sew them. Some people are more talented than moi and can sew. So I'm just going to put another layer here. And just shovel that in there. <laughs> there. Just so that there's, I do like there being five when I go round. So now we'll emboss this, heat emboss. Yeah. 16 spaniels. Oh, Shaz. So many fur babies. Oh, bugger lungs. Caitlin, I'm sorry to hear about Bugalogs. That's Caitlin's pet. And Yvonne took her Labrador to the vet as well. Mm. Yeah, we love our fur babies. Jessie took her rabbit to the pet twice. And spent a fortune on her little rabbit. She did everything she could to look after him. Good job, Jessie. Basil had a very good life. Kathy! Aww, long time fan. That's very cute. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. We haven't even finished yet. We've got more layers to add with ink. Sponging. So we'll just tip that in there. Oops, I missed, missed the edge a bit. Whoopsie, that's all right. Will forgive me. I don't understand how I end up with hair and dust in there. <laughs> all right, next layer, sponging layer. Oh, this is looking so gorgeous. Do you love this technique? I love it. <gasps> Luann! So nice to see you. So I'm going to bring in some more of the, the soft suede, but I'm also going to bring in the early espresso, but we have to be very careful when we do the early espresso. So bring in some more soft suede. I'm going to bring that up a little bit more. beautiful again being very careful because there's lots of ink sitting on that white area and then we're going to bring in oh just want to shake off the powder on that got, somehow got embossing powder on here I don't understand how <laughs> so this is very dark so you're best off just testing it first if you're not comfortable with sponging. But what you're going to do is just come in. Remember, don't touch the middle, Kylie. Remind yourself. And you're just coming in very slowly from the edge. And I love to circle. I know everyone has a different technique that they like. 
I stroke the pad <laughs> and circle here. So we're building up that layer of color and you can get darker and darker if you want to, but you just want to slowly add that ink on. You don't want to go too crazy, but I find circling off onto the paper first and then onto your card is a really nice way of adding that color without it getting too <laughs> that's the technical term for putting too much ink on <laughs> yeah it's very technical now you can see here that I want to show you just how important it is to use your tissue so see here when we rub that how much ink starts coming off those say so, say this one here look at that amazing right so very important to come in with your tissue later and wipe all your embossing parts including your clear one oh it's the birdies you're a bit cute little ones isn't that pretty <gasps> so gorgeous I know so pretty now the funniest thing would be if I didn't leave enough room I don't think I did <laughs> <laughs> but I think we can get away with it still. No, I think we might use the other one. I think we might use the sending hugs because I just went a little bit high here. I got a little bit carried away with my sponging. So I'll use the sending thanks. I think it should fit okay. And if not, we'll find a new one because that's what we do. We make do with what we have. Oh, yes, I think it may be all right. Let's have a look here. Oh, no, I think it's too too small as well. Oh, now the doggies are having a little bark. Oh, I think the shopping's coming today. <gasps> Grocery. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Okay, I'm going to do surgery. <gasps> Everyone close your eyes. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Yes, it's happening. Look away. Ding. Thanks. <laughs> chuppy, chuppy. <laughs> I'm going to use the, oh, there goes my heat tool. I'm going to use the stamparatus for this. Can you believe I just chopped my stamp set? Oh, my goodness. I know, it's scary, isn't it? What happened? Oh, Brenna saw me chop. <laughs> I'm gonna hear him yelling from the other room. <laughs> no! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> So have we got it the right way? Yes, we do. And what I like to do, just line it up a little bit and then we can adjust it up here just to see exactly where it's sitting on the line. Just do a little adjustment. Yeah, that looks, it actually looks pretty good. Well, I think it does. Where's my... I like, sometimes like to get the grid paper. <laughs> the patient survived. Yes, it is a new meaning to love it, chop it. <laughs> a whole new meaning. Chop it. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that looks pretty good because the S is sitting on here and the bottom of the T is sitting on here. So that's usually how I like to line up using my grid paper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so now we're going to come in with our early espresso and the reason why I've got it on the Stamparatus is because I want to be able to sort of layer the color a couple of times because it's on Sahara sand it's not going to <laughs> it's taking love it chop it too far <laughs> um, yeah it's just not going to attach to that ink as strongly as usual so let's just do one stamp 
see how it's got all these sort of soft lines in there we want it to be we want it to pop off the page hello Beverly oh you missed you missed something scary Beverly I just chopped it <laughs> I just chopped my paper my um, stamp <laughs> we'll do it again you have to be patient with this one but it's worth it well I feel it's worth it anyway I'm gonna go one more time I'm actually thinking my early espresso needs a re-ink had lots of use yeah that's pretty good oh I love it isn't that pretty yeah <laughs> Beverly oh my goodness yes I've chopped it three times now it was sending thanks with a little harvest tree but now it's sending thanks tree it's in three now I've got three stamps I've got extras now and then we can just come in here do a little wipey wipe with my sham wow I love my chamois. I chopped him so that I could come in here and do it this way around if I wanted to as well. But if you don't like your hands getting dirty, it's best to come to the chamois. But I do like this for my, um, when I'm using the um, Stamparatus. But you can just come in like this. And don't be afraid that there's lots of ink on here. It's incredible that it does clean it, even if it looks really dirty. Yeah, like so. And I just put it in one of our clear cases. Yay. So now it's time to layer. So if you wanted to, and I haven't done this for a while, but I might do it with this one. I might bring in some um, twine. We've got some beautiful natural twine that Stampin' Up! have. Let's have a play of this. Because a lot of people say to me, I don't use enough of my ribbon or my twine. Let's have a look and see which one would look. Oh, even the vanilla would look lovely too, I think. Yeah, I think something like that. Because we don't want it to take away let's just test this out and see what it looks like because the cool thing about using ribbon is you can pull it off if you don't like it so I think just down the bottom here just as a little accent but we'll try it because I don't want to take away from that gorgeous leaf but I do think it adds to it what do you think everyone twine or no twine to twine or not to twine yes I did it in half and then in quarters so Tammy asked a good question I don't know what the conversion oh the time yes it's a very frustrating because I had the wrong time I'm sorry Tammy but I fixed all my next ones. Yeah. Yes, that's a good idea, Cindy. You could absolutely stamp your sentiment first. It's a very good idea. I like that idea, Cindy. Excellent. Now I wish I knew you before I went live. <laughs> yeah, I like the twine too. I think it looks nice. Oh, good. You're all going for twine. I think it just needed something a little bit especially because the th the sentiment isn't as big so let's just do a little knot here and you can actually pull this twine apart because it's quite thick this one so if you wanted it a little bit thinner you can pull it apart and have a, a finer twine
So you can sort of move it across, you can cut it where you want to cut it. <laughs> Look at all this ink. <laughs> Be very careful of the ink. <laughs> it always tends to get on your hands <laughs> right when you're finishing. Oh yeah, I really like that. Do we think that's good? I think that looks good. Before we before we lock it in place. There is something I do want to add though, which is an embellishment. I was thinking maybe the I've got a few little adhesives here. On this one I added the little um, droplets epoxy but I'm thinking of the yes these ones I think one of those would look really nice on there because they're quite rustic but I've, I'm pretty sure I had one open <gasps> I do here we go oh any of those fit I love these I just I don't know if I use these colors though Mm, no, none of those match. I love them. Oh my goodness, they're my fave. Yeah, I think some of these. Let's have a look at these. Yeah, metallic. <gasps> the metallic will look hot. Yes, Kenzie. Our, our minds are thinking the same thing. A bit of metallic. And I think that the subdued ones, but you could even use the copper ones, but I think these ones are lovely, the gunmetal ones. So where is my little tool here? I'm very excited to watch someone use their take your pick tool for this because I didn't realize how easy I was like trying to pick it up from the top, but you just push them push them from the side and then they pick up <gasps> you've got to get yourself a take your pick tool now <laughs> yep just pushy push and then it goes in there oh yeah I think that's done it is that the piece of resistance I think that's made it a winner welcome to the world little one you have now been born <laughs> you are now in the in the world. I'll just see if I bring it down a little bit more. Let's see where we can place this. I think somewhere here. Like so. Does that look good? Or we can go up here. No, I think down lower. But some of you may decide not to use the twine but I just wanted to show how you can use it and it's just that little bit of extraness just something a bit I don't normally use um, ribbon and twine and things like that I do like it separated a little bit oh good yeah I love the take your pick tool fantastic so let's lock it in let's not overthink it everyone and if we're not sure, we could just make another one. That's how it works. Just move on, stick it down, and then if you want to make another one, you do it straight away. Oh, I mustn't have put the lid on this. Oopsie. So do you want to know another trick for your take your pick tool? I have been known to do this surgery quite a number of times. <laughs> but it's very good for unclogging your glue. Thank you, take your pick tool. Yes. <laughs> oh, welcome back. And then we'll stick that down. And then the next layer. Now, I do love having the Tombow glue for something like this, and you sort of do want to go to these edges. Because we've done embossing, it is quite um, like it's a bit buckled. Um, not major, 
I mean, you, if you have time, you can sit it underneath a book overnight. But I haven't got time for that. <laughs> so it, the glue is really good for getting it stuck down nice and strong. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, that looks so good, doesn't it? So pretty. And I will do the inside. I've got a piece here already chopped. I just want to do a couple of leaves. So we can do the Cajun and maybe some espresso dots. Espresso dots. Yeah. Super. And I've also got some soft suede here too. Oh, pretty. Yeah, how pretty does that look? And you could do the same thing on your envelope. And this could be also very vanilla if you didn't want to use the whisper white or the basic white. Basic white, basic white, basic white. If you didn't want to use the basic white, then you could use very vanilla. And that goes on the inside. I do love to dress up the inside of my card too. Just makes it so special. Look at that. How stunza. <laughs> Hello, Patricia. And of course, Denise, case away. That's why I create. If I create and it makes you create, my job is done. This is what I do. <laughs> the whole idea is that we create so that you copy everything on our blog. You don't have to ask. Just go along and case away. <laughs> yes, it's very pretty, isn't it? And look how different these two look. Just using the different colouring has such a different effect. Really, really beautiful technique, this one. I think it's called Batik, Batik. Maybe some of you can tell me. Have you seen this technique before? Where you layer these many layers? I mean, it's emboss resist as well. But, yeah. I think it has like an actual stamping technique name. They usually do it with um, paper. I mean, material. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Roxanne. <laughs> Is there anyone else hiding in the background? I think that's Roxanne's first comment. Hi, Roxanne. I do love a friendly stalker sitting in the background. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rebecca. Thanks, Donna. Yeah, so it's a bit of fun. I was playing with it last night and I thought, oh, just, I wanted to try a different stamp set, but I'm just addicted to this gorgeous leaf set at the moment. It's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. So if you haven't got that one and it, and the whole bundle, I haven't even played with the dies yet and I've got so many ideas for the dies. So watch this space. There'll probably be some more on our blog this week um, where I use the dies as well. Oh, thank you, Luann. Oh, there's another one here. Blocks away. Whee! So nice when everything has a place. I'm pretending I'm a tidy crafter today. 
<laughs> it's a first. <laughs> Look, they're all put away, everyone. <laughs> Before the live even finished. <laughs> Bruno, you're shocked? I'm shocked. I'm shocking myself. But be careful. This will be the moment I spill my coffee everywhere. It's usually when I'm proud of myself that <laughs> things start going awry. <laughs> So, yes, I'll have to try this one next time. And I loved what... Who said that fantastic idea? Maybe you should stamp first. Very, very clever. Tammy. Was it Tammy? Hi! Can I show everyone my new cup? Yeah. Look what I made, everyone. <gasps> what? what? What do you mean you made it? What do you mean you made it? It's the coolest. Did you paint it? No, purchased the image. Yes. And printed it on the mug. What? You've got a cup printer. Yep. What? I think I need. Um, I think I need a cup that says. Uh, I can hear us. <laughs> that says love it, chop it. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Can I have a love it, chop it cup? <laughs> Does anyone else want a love it, chop it cup? <laughs> that would actually be very funny. <gasps> we can have merch. We can have merch, Bruno. Boys and their toys, hey? <laughs> it's a bit exciting. That cup is very pretty. Yeah. Look, everyone, it's all the way. But yes, I loved this idea of, of stamping first. I think that that's the, the best way to go. So don't do anything that I did. Just stamp first, stamp the sentiment, and then work around. That's excellent. We learn from each other, see? It's amazing. Thank you all very much. Let's just have a look at little comments here. I know, so cool. Yes, I'd love, love it, chop it merch. <laughs> I really want to design pins. We've got a friend in um, the Philippines who's very clever. He's very good with his images. And I'd love to get him to make us a pin. Like maybe something with scissors and a love heart or something. Wouldn't that be fun? We can have love it, chop it pins, like a really nice one. He made our crazy crafters one last time. Where did I put that? I think I might have given my last one away. He made this one for us, which is very cute. Um, I'll bring my pins over. I've got a pin collection. But he made this one down the bottom here that says you'll have to, you'll have to unmute because we're using Zoom so much. <laughs> I love that one. It's very cute. But yeah, I don't know where the crazy craft... Oh, no, there it is. That one there. Although we designed that one. We didn't get our friend to do that one. We designed that one ourselves. But, yeah, it'd be fun to have a little pin. I do like pins. They're a bit of fun. Yes. So, let me just pop my face on here and then we'll take a little picture together. Got to zhuzh the hair. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. It's called Chaos Reigns. Fun, fun first. That's my teaching style. <laughs> fun is paramount. <laughs> so I think that's the right spot. There we go. Yay. Woohoo. Thank you. Which wall hanging was that, Luann? He's made a lot of stuff for us. He's very cool. Yeah, he does such a good job. So what's everyone drinking? What's your beverage? I can't believe how quickly that card went today. I'm in shock. <sighs> I was like, I said to Brenda last night, this is a very complex card. But I think once you do it once, it... Things that seem complicated are no longer complicated anymore. It's like, ah, oh, no, that really wasn't complicated. <laughs> it was really quite simple. <laughs> Hello, Melissa. <laughs> Coffee for Cindy. Oh, water for Roxanne. You're being a good girl. I need to have more water today. We've got a team get together this afternoon. Oh. Solo Zero Sugar. Go, Caitlin. Cup of Chino. Oh, Jen. 
I do love me a cappuccino. I feel like some Cardinet. <laughs> you can have some Cardinet, Kimmy. <laughs> yes, you did make that pin, Bruno Batucci. Well, did you or did I? Nah, I'll give it to you. I think we did a mashup on that one. I think I told you what to do. <laughs> and you made it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, so we've got a good week ahead. Definitely head over to KylieBatucci.com. We've been very busy with our training program, getting that set up this week. Um, but yeah, I want to have a bit of fun with some Instagram reels and yeah, do a few different things this week. I cannot believe Facebook went down last week. Oh my goodness, like what even? What even happened there? How, what did you all do? How did you all survive? We fortunately were sleeping majority of the Facebook crash. So that's good. We missed most of it. So I didn't have that much. I, I woke up and I think I had an hour of withdrawals. It's a bit scary, really. What do we do in our life without social media? <laughs> Actually, in saying that, it's very important that you go on our newsletter list. <laughs> I think we've realized that newsletters are very useful so head, head over here, newsletter, sign up. So if you want to keep in the know, that is how you can keep in the know. You can join our newsletter. Yes. Oh, yeah, give us a thumbs up. We're at 60. I think we can make 100. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Heather. I'm tired of Facebook. Never seen my comments. Oh, that's annoying. I gripped and complained. <laughs> yeah, Caitlin and I were in Australia. We slept through the whole thing. <laughs> Kenzie tried to reset the Wi-Fi. She's like, surely this is me, not, not Facebook. <laughs> yes, we really, really do rely on social media. It's a bit scary. Yes, super dependent. And it was so weird. Like, I knew it was down, but I could still see things. So I kept refreshing, and I'm like, Kylie, it's down. Stop refreshing. Stop. <laughs> it's down. It's not going to work. Refreshing is not going to change it. <laughs> yeah, we all have a love-hate relationship with Facebook. <laughs> How has it become so much a part of our life? Yes. I think that's the bit we miss, isn't it? It's the social interaction. Yeah. Facebook went down a day after a former employee did an expose on 60 Minutes. <gasps> There's a lot we don't know. There's a lot we don't know, isn't there, hey? And I'm glad I don't know. <laughs> I'm just happy to be a happy consumer. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have one of those jobs. <laughs> yes, YouTube's the best, isn't it? Oh, so great to see you all. What are you all up to this week? Is anyone crafting this week? What are your plans? <laughs> Funny. I, I don't think I'm the funniest demo, Tammy. I'm just probably, like, keeping it very real. <laughs> this is what you see is what you get. Whether you see me on YouTube or in person, same, same person. Same, same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's daddy da? -da? <laughs> Ooh, Heather's doing a market this week. Well done, Mark. Um, Heather, that'll be good. I was about to call you. Well done, market. Excellent. Well done. Sewing. Ooh, crafting with your doll. That's so sweet. Yeah, we love crafting, don't we? I've got lots of crafting planned this week, so I'm looking forward to doing some more crafting. Donna uses YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. No Facebook. Oh, fair enough. I Look, I love Facebook for our team groups, and Stampin' Up! has a demonstrator um, planning play page, it's called, and that is pretty amazing for inspiration. So it is quite good having, um, yeah, having a group where you can share ideas and things like that. But, yeah, bit of a love-hate. I understand. Oh, polymer clay earrings. I love earrings. So much fun. <laughs> I love that. If I was called market, I could shop with myself. <laughs> it's like 
calling your toilet gym. And then I can say I've been to the gym five times today. <laughs> oh, it was so lovely seeing you all. Um, big hugs from us. Oh, Rachel, sending our love to you. Please send Rachel love, everyone. Her family are sick at the moment and it's a bit stressful over in the UK. We, we're thinking of you, Rachel. Saying lots of prayers to keep you calm. Just watch lots of YouTube to keep you distracted for 14 days. Yeah. Yeah, and I hope we see our crazy crafters this afternoon for some crafting. Yeah. Big hugs. And yes, I'm in Melbourne. We're in Melbourne. Still in lockdown. I don't know what day it is, but I think it's coming up to almost 300 days. But, you know, we'll just eat our way through it. <laughs> we'll get, we will get through it. <laughs> Craft and eat. <laughs> uh, it was, it's one of Rachel's um, son. Her, Rachel's son and, yeah. So it's, there's a lot happening in that house. <laughs> yes, the gym. Big hugs, Rachel. Well, have a wonderful, wonderful week, whatever you're up to. It's so lovely to see you all here. And thank you for all the likes. We're up to 79 now. Whoop, whoop. Yay. And if you know anyone that would like this technique or would like to learn, then please share. Um, and, yeah, 2 o'clock this afternoon, Susan. 2 o'clock, Melbourne time. Yeah. Have a wonderful week. Mwah. We'll see you all very soon. Big hugs. Love you all lots. Oh, thank you, Yvonne. <laughs> Bye. And hopefully this heals very soon. Bye. <laughs>